Are there multiple Macs in your house or in your business? Are you frustrated with Macs being out of date or not getting the latest Microsoft update or Flash update? Are you sick of your users installing anything willy-nilly? Well, I've got a solution for you. Monkey and Monkey Report. They're free and open source and they're used in big companies. The creator of Monkey actually is a systems administrator at Disney, and Monkey is the main system used. It's regularly updated and is, is a great piece of software. Today we're gonna work on setting up a Monkey Report server in Ubuntu. show you how quick it is. I've got Ubuntu 18.04.3 running and then I'm, I've SSH into my system. It's it's the server edition. You can go ahead and install desktop. I prefer to keep the GUI out of it. It keeps it cleaner. But essentially I'll have all the commands out of my blog of what we're running. But oh, first off uh, I suggest um, running everything like as root and being completely root. So while I'm running this and it's going to fail, and it's going to fail terribly, um, first off, uh, go sudo su and you can be root, um, root user entirely. And that way all of these commands will run without an issue. Um, so we'll do an update and then install um, OpenSSL and unzip and a few different pe other pieces that are required for monkey report to run properly. Um, this will take a little bit so I'll speed up and we'll, we'll catch, catch you back once done. All right, we're back. Next, just to make sure we're sitting clean, I like to do a shutdown or a reboot to uh, to just clean things up. So, uh, shutdown dash r now will will do a reboot to um, make sure that um, we're back up and running. We can go ahead and ping the uh, IP address, and that will let us know. See, we're we're currently getting a timeout. Um, and we'll wait until we can actually see that we're we're hitting the, the system. All right, it's back. So kill that. Get rid of that terminal window, and then SSH back into our system. Mine is set up. I walked through the install process for Ubuntu server. I have it sitting on my my lab. But if you have it out on say DigitalOcean or Linode, I'll have a link to DigitalOcean's suggested setup for. Uh, user accounts in Ubuntu and how to have a secure system. So next we're going to go ahead and verify that Apache is installed by actually just reinstalling Apache. Uh, I want to sudo su before I run those commands. And then we will go ahead and install Apache through apt. And then for good measure, we'll restart Apache. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and install PHP 7.3. I know 7.4 is out already, but I haven't tested all the modules, and I know 7.3 does work. So we'll go ahead and get that installed right now. Go ahead and press enter when it calls for it, and now it'll install that repository where we can where it's pulling down 7.4, and then we'll go ahead and do an apt update um, to make sure everything's up to date. So then we're gonna pull all the different PHP extensions this first time around and get those. We'll hit Y and then click enter for yes. We do agree. And then we're going to just check our PHP version and yep, we're at 7.3. So at that point, we're gonna make sure the system is set to use 7.3. And then we're gonna go ahead and make sure that it's enabled so that after reboots, it still uses 7.3. On that note, we wanna make sure Apache is also using 7.3. So we're gonna go ahead and edit the configuration file to use 
that system and then we're going to go ahead and type in uh, system CTL reload Apache 2 to reload Apache. Then I'm also going to hit its mod file to tell it to run. It's already enabled, so we're good there. And then get the final bit of extensions for uh, PHP um, and run those. I think the only ones that it's going to get really are um, SQL3 um, and a couple of others, but just to verify that we have all we need for PHP, and then we'll go ahead and run the modification one more time. So we're good with Apache, that's installed. Now what we're gonna do is install Monkey Report GitHub, um, and I like to install that into um, slash var, and then um, we'll have it create a slash var slash monkey report folder, which we will clone into. So this does take a hot second, and then we'll go ahead and we will change disk into monkey report. After that, we need to install Composer, and Composer is the piece that gets um, all the modules uh, functioning. So we'll go ahead and get that installed. There are instructions on Composer's website, um, and that's where I've pulled mine. I will link to Composer's website on my blog. Um, and then you can see how, how they go through it. Um, but I'm using their exact commands. And then that installed Composer, finally we're gonna unlink it and get it out of our system. And then we will run Composer. And it will have issues running it as root. We have no, we're not running anything that's um, an issue at this point. Um, and even running it as root, it will still um, run through everything. It does take a little bit to run run through all these different pieces, but um, I have not had any issues running Composer as root. We're good there. Now we can go ahead and not just that, but Make sure that that file is set, um, and then restart Apache. I pulled together all of these instructions basically by looking at the Docker file from Monkey Report. Um, I was unable to get Docker to set up um, SSL um, and certificates, and so I've only been able to figure that out with Apache running on Ubuntu, um, and so this this is my workaround for that. Um, next, we need to set up what's called the .env file. It's it's the environment file, um, and there is an example in uh, Monkey Report. So we're just going to take their example and tweak it from um, from there. You can actually leave it the way it is right now, and it will start. But because I'm not going to uh, put an SSL certificate in it, we need to tweak so that it's not a secure, it doesn't expect things to be secure. This is also where if you decide to run it with MySQL instead of SQLite, you can go ahead and have it talk to either your internal MySQL server or an external one. Um, you can also set up your web host to be something different than say the IP address. Um, this is where you'd set it to say, you know, monkeyreport.example.com, that'll be a nice clean setup and the server will, will know, know that. You can also set your site name. So I'm going to set it to FT Monkey Report or Frog Tech. And then you can also hide the inactive modules. So we're not going to use all modules today. And so it's going to hide all the rest of the ones we're not using. We're also not going to go through authentication today. We'll leave it as no off, but you can go ahead and read through Monkey reports documentation to set up a local user. You can also tie it to LDAP or Active Directory, but that's currently not within the scope of this video. And then finally, we're going to change auth secure to false. I can type and we'll control X and yes and save it out as the .env 
file. Finally, we need to do the database migrate to make sure the SQLite database is set up properly. Now we're going to remove the HTML directory in slash var slash www. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and link our monkey report public folder, just the public folder, back to HTML. HTML, HTML is the, the default directory where Apache uh, serves out its websites. So now we're going to serve the public directory, which is the only directory you want visible for monkey report out through HTML. So now that's done, and then we'll go ahead and rewrite the modification file for Apache, and then we'll restart Apache. Then the final thing we need to do is set our permissions for our database, otherwise Monkey Report cannot write to the database. So first we're going to change the ownership of the SQLite database to the www-data user and, the, and that group. That's the user that Apache uses when offering out the website. And then we're going to also make it so it is securely writable for that user. And then we also need to change the directory upon which the database lives. So that's in slash var slash monkey report slash apt slash db. And that will allow www data to write to that SQLite database. So at this point, we're set up. You can go ahead and take your IP address, whatever it may be, and type it into a web browser, and you'll see you have Monkey Report functionally set up. Now, you don't have any, it's not set up for any modules. These are the only modules that you'd have installed, and you don't have any clients hitting it. But you do have a functional server. At this point, I'm going to stop, but you can go ahead and you can install CertBot into Ubuntu and get um, a certificate set up. As long as you have DNS set up properly, you could set up CertBot and have, have DNS set up appropriately and then you have an SSL certificate. In my next video, I'll show you how to create a local user for Monkey Report and how to get a client talking to Monkey Report and start using some modules. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and, and, uh, and subscribe. We'll have more content coming out soon.